Hi everyone. So one of the questions I get asked about a lot is what adhesives do I use in my journal creations? So I have a short list of favorites and I'm going to share those with you now. So the first one I want to talk about is Fabri-Tac. It's my go-to for um, a few different applications. I like it on thicker fabrics though. I don't like uh, what happens if I use it on a thin sort of uh, calico cotton, but it does work great on canvas or the um, thicker muslin, that sort of thing. I like it on lace to attach lace to paper, uh, either the edges of my journal pages or little flowers on embellishments, that sort of thing. And I also really like it for when I'm attaching my hidden spine that I've either made out of book cloth or craft text. So when I'm attaching the hidden spine to a hardcover, I have two flaps and I use the Fabri-Tac on the two flaps on the front and back. So that's what I really like Fabri-Tac for. I've also used it to attach the upholstery fabric on my covers. The next one I want to talk about that I really love is Yes Paste. This one here, I use it when I have a large surface of um, cardstock or paper that I want to stick flat because it's kind of like the texture uh, consistency of butter, so it spreads on really nice. And I like it for the upholstery fabric when I'm gluing that to a hard cover. It's messy to use because you have to use a uh, kind of like a putty knife or a brush and you can mix it with a thinner um, fluid medium if you prefer but I use it just as is so it's a little messier than using glues that are in a dispenser but the results are worth the mess so this is another one the next one that I like to use is score tape and I mainly use this on the um, paper that I typically add to the inside covers. So this is just something that I attach to the perimeter of my paper and then um, stick it down in the inside front and backs of my journals. So typically that's what I use this for. Occasionally I use it on um, if I want to attach a card or a um, piece of paper to another page. Occasionally I'll use it at the top and bottom. One thing that I don't recommend using it for is for tuck spots or pockets because it um, may not be fully down flat and when you stick your cards into your tuck spot or your pocket it might get stuck wedged under the tape and then you'll go to pull out your card and it'll be stuck in there. The next one that I sometimes use for sticking down um, layers of paper onto cards or onto my journal pages and to glue down my tuck spots and my pockets is the Scotch Create. Now I used to like it better. I think they've changed the formula a little so I have to be careful when I'm using this on the shinier um, paper from my laser printer. So sometimes I have found that if I use this on the shiny paper it does leave, um, you can see the line where I use the precision tip. It doesn't dry completely flat afterwards so sometimes I use the sponge tip and I just apply really really lightly but it's still one of my favorites for a lot of the applications. It works really well on cardstock, on regular paper, just like I said I'm just a little more careful when I'm using shiny paper it just seems to show the line of the glue. And then I have uh, a glue stick and this one here I use not for something that I want to have permanently um, placed on my paper. I use it if I know that I'm going to go around and stitch later. Uh, this is a really good way to stick a layer down of paper and then do some stitching around. It's, it's permanent enough that way, but I have found that sometimes just using glue stick uh, alone on paper, you'll come back later and it will have um, come off of your, of your page. And I suspect it's because this is sort of a wax-based glue so that it's, it tends to dry. 
Another one that I use occasionally is the Aline's Tacky Glue. And I am careful on what I use this because it's such a wet glue, I find that if I use it on thinner paper, like just regular copy paper, the 28, 32 pound, um, or even the thinner scrapbook papers, I find that it does tend to make the paper buckle and bubble a little. So I don't particularly use it for that type of application. Sometimes if I'm running low on my Fabri-Tac or my score tape, I'll use this to glue down the thicker cardstock either to the inside covers of my book or if I'm gluing down a thicker tag or cardstock uh, journaling card, then I'll use it because it's, it's wet but the cardstock is thicker so it doesn't um, buckle. So I still, I still keep this on hand and I still enjoy using it, but on the thicker cardstock. So I hope that this has given you a few pointers on the types of glues for different applications when you're making journals. If you have any questions, let me know and I will be back with another Q&A video uh, in the near future. Thanks for watching.